hey guys welcome back to my channel for another video and welcome to july as crazy as that sounds to say that uh, but we are halfway through the year my baby that i just brought home is six months old and one book july is here so that is what i'm here to talk about um i do have patriotic nails so um you'll see them popping into the video but um i will preface this video by saying that I will not be showing you guys my complete setup because I have everything for my setup except for my Traveler's Notebook cover um, and that has nothing to do with the company that I ordered from. Um, I will talk more about it when I do show you guys my cover and my setup but I didn't order my Traveler's Notebook cover until June 23rd and um, for one I made customizations to it so I should be getting my shipping notice any day now and it's coming from Spain so I did order um, or pay for expedited shipping so hopefully by the time I'm ready to do my one week update it will be here um, my plan is to do this intro and then do an update every single week to let you guys know what's going on um, but I didn't want to miss doing this intro and also um, I wanted to touch on all the planners um, that I have been using this past year and basically um, what all I'm trying to put into my system and a little bit of backstory and things like that. So if I were to try to do that in addition to my setup, um, I feel like the video would be way too long. So maybe it's kind of a good thing that it's going to end up being in different parts. So um, just a little bit of backtracking. For those of you who don't know what One Book July is, I feel like at this point everybody knows what One Book July is, but it was started by Carrie Harling, which you guys know, um, who you guys know is my planner idol, um, Miss Vicky B and Romany from Romany's Realm. Um, you see my window there, the sun is going crazy. My lighting is never that great, but it just goes, it's going in and out. Um, but anyways, they started One Book July back in 2014 and um, basically the original challenge was one book, one pen for one month. Um, I have been participating in One Book July behind the scenes every year. This is my first official year participating on YouTube. Um, in 2014 and in 2015, in 2014 when the challenge originally happened, um, I think I had just deleted my old YouTube channel that I had. 2015, that channel had not started. Um, in 2016, July of 2016, this channel was up um, and I was in one book. It was like at the beginning of my pregnancy, so over the summertime. So I, um, I had just started getting a little more serious about um, about planning and everything so I was already in one book and I did do the one project but again I didn't like publicly participate in it so this will be my first year publicly participating um, on my YouTube channel but I have technically participated every year so um, I will link Romani's video below um, Carrie Miss Vicky B and Romani all three of them make a video every year just kind of giving an intro but I feel like Romani's video this year is the best one um, to really describe the essence of the challenge because there over the years um, pretty much the whole challenge is open to your interpretation um, especially last year when they added the one project component and then this year when they've added the go big or go home component um, it's all open to your interpretation and because of that people interpret it the way they want um, and when they are on YouTube and Facebook groups and Instagram um, they interpret the rules and they put it out there like this is how I interpret it this is what I'm doing with it and people who are new to the challenge they take somebody's interpretation as the hard and fast rules and that is not it so Romani put out a video saying there are no rules and how do I know this because I created the challenge so again I will link her video below for those of you um, who are on the fence about participating because you've heard of this rule or that rule and you think that maybe you, you can't do it or you shouldn't do it watch Romani's video to get clarification about what exactly this challenge is because I feel like it's for everybody. Everyone can participate in some way, shape, or form between version 1.0 and version 3.0. There is some way that you can fit in your participation if you want to. So with that being said, I am going to be um, participating in all three versions um, in some way, shape, or form. So version one was one book, one pen for the entire month. Again, I will be in one book. I will be in a traveler's notebook. Um, 
using my whole Benici Yvette cousin. I will be flipping the camera around in just a second to show you the whole, all the planners I've been using and the stuff that I will be using um, this year. Um, minus my cover, of course, but just a really quick overview. So for the one book, I'll be using a traveler's notebook with my Hobonichi um, cousin, Avex. So it's the A5 size Hobonichi. I have the Avex, so it's just July through December. Um, I purposely bought that because this is my first time trying out the Hobonichi. And also I wanted the smaller book so that I could put it in a traveler's notebook with other notebooks um, and make a traveler's notebook system. Um, so I will be using that with some other notebooks. Um, in a traveler's notebook so that will be my one book the only exception to that will be um my spiritual journal which i've shown before and i'll show it i just have it over here that i'll just pop it in and show it to you guys that will not be changing i do not do any kind of journaling whatsoever i don't do dear diary daily journaling really um any journaling that i do is spiritual journaling um if something is really really upsetting me and i feel the need to journal um that journaling turns into praying um which in turn happens in my spiritual journal so um it all goes into my spiritual journal anyway um and all of that is separate from my planning i never mix my journaling and my planning um therefore it has nothing to do with my planner so that will not change um so i that's the one book as far as the one pen I will be using two pens, but one type of pen. I will be using my Coletto. You guys know color coding is my life. So I will be using two, um, my same two Colettos that I've always been using. Um, I have seven colors total. That's not going to change, period. Um, for version 2.0, for my projects, um, my one main project is to set up this new planner. Um, and the other project is we are moving in early August. Um, it's not a big project because we're moving to the same apartment complex for one. For two, um, and I spoke about this in, I think, one of my book club videos. Um, for two, our apartment complex is all-inclusive. So the only bill we pay um, outside, like all of our utilities included, are, are included in our rent. So I don't have to like transfer utilities. The only thing I have to transfer is our internet and cable are separate. Um, and the other thing is we live in a small apartment so we don't buy things unnecessarily so i don't have things sitting around that we are not using on a daily basis so there's nothing right now that i can pack ahead of time like literally i cannot pack anything until maybe a day or two before we're ready to move so moving is not really a project because there's nothing i can do until it's time for us to move so um my primary project is going to be getting my planner set up um and we have decided to homeschool my seven-year-old. I've talked about this before. Um, so I am getting some homeschooling stuff set up. Um, homeschooling is gonna be included in my one planner. So that's why it's such a project to get this planner set up because this is not just going to be my one book July planner. This is going to be my everyday carry main planner going forward. So that is why it's such a project to get the entire thing set up. Um, is because this is what I'm going to be carrying every day going forward and once you guys see what all is going in it it's going to make sense why it's such a big project and that's where version 3 go big or go home comes in because I'm going big everything is going into this planner um, and with that said I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys around so you can see what that everything is that's going to be going into my planner so um, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around if you guys have any questions let me know below in the comment section all right guys so we are going to talk about first what I have been using this year so the first thing that we are going to start with is my um, blog and YouTube planner. Sorry about the shakiness. Um, I have done a video on the setup of this. Um, you can guys, excuse me, you guys can check that out on my channel. Um, so I have walked through this, shown what all I have in this. And I have always kept a separate um, YouTube planner. This is, of course, is now my blog and YouTube planner. So I've always had um, a calendar in here for my editorial calendar. Um, I've had a brain dump section in the beginning. Um, again, I've ha I have a lot of notes in here about um, some products and services I want to launch, but just a brain dump section. So I have stuff about um, when I 
went to launch my Patreon. Um, I've had information about the reward tiers I wanted to do, um, YouTube creator events I wanted to do, my plan of one-on-one series that I'm still considering doing, stuff I wanted to do on my website. Um, when I watch YouTube videos or webinars, I take notes. Um, so I've always had this brain dump section. This is my video ideas section that this is going to be a beast to transfer to something else. So this is all of my video ideas, the orange highlighted ones. I've already done these videos. And of course, all the other ones are just ideas that I have not done yet. Um, and then my actual editorial calendar. And then, um, this is my section, this is what I call my video planning section. So this normally is just note paper and then I just um, write down like the talking points for the videos, if I have any, um, any links that I want to find um, or any, just things I wanna make sure that I mention. And then I do the same thing for blog posts nowadays. Um, right now, again, um, all of my blog posts that I am putting on the website um, right now are just taking my most popular YouTube videos and um, transcribing them into blog posts so i'm not creating much new content for the blog um, i do have a, a couple ideas that i am working on that they're in draft mode but um, i basically do the same thing so that's what this section is and then um all of this back here like i said for a long time this was the only um, A5 size six ring binder that I had because I was in the Franklin Covey system. So any extra A5 size six ring stuff that I had um, would just go in here. So old Kiki K stuff because I sold my A5 Kiki K um, binder a long time ago. So just extra stuff I had would go in here. So this stuff is going into my planner. Um, then this is my big beast. This is my Franklin Covey Charlotte. I absolutely love this binder. Um, I've talked about this before, but this binder is going to become my home management binder um, once we move and um, I start getting routines and stuff like that set up. So once I get that this whole thing set up, um, I will do, of course, a flip through and all that for you guys. But basically, at the beginning of the year, I was in the Franklin Covey compact size. So these are things that I never even got a chance to move. This is some budget information. We were kind of working out a mock budget. Um, but I never even got a chance to move my list from the compact size to the classic size, and then I moved out of the classic to the A5. So this is the index of all the lists, and I kept this because basically all of these lists need to go into my new planner. Um, a lot of these lists need to be revamped. So um, like I have my books to read list, and then I have my planner review processes, um, my morning and evening routines, um, those need to be revamped because again, with us homeschooling, our routines are gonna completely change. My fiance got a promotion, so his work schedule, he's now working night shifts instead of morning shifts. So that's gonna change. Um, my zone cleaning, we are moving, so we have different rooms, bigger rooms, more rooms, so all of that's gonna change. But I still want to have all of these lists inside my new planner. So all of this stuff has to go in there and then this, at this point, when I moved out of this and I moved into my A5 planner, this pretty much is just, this was just calendar. Um, I've done a flip through of this planner very recently, but this was just calendar stuff. Um, basically all of the project planning, the list, the goals, all that stuff I left in here. I never transferred it out of here. Um, this was just calendar and all of this stuff has since been transferred into my Hobonichi. So that part has been taken care of. Um, but with this, like all of my, this is my vision board. So all of my, my governing values, my mission statement, my goals, um, this is the leadership inserts, uh, the leadership information from the leadership inserts. I do want to find a way to move this in or do something with this information because I do, um, it's so funny, the win-win agreement process. I actually, this was the um, Seven Habits Book Club information from um, today, that this video, today that I'm recording this video, this information went up. But anyways, <laughs> um, so like all of my projects, so my whole project section, my someday maybe list, all of this stuff, again, the list section, um, this is all of this right here, still my project section, all of the list, and then of course the calendar section we've already transferred over. So all of that stuff, so the goals, the projects, the lists, um, 
all of this list stuff all of that has to go in and the other thing that you guys have not seen this is the um happy planner this is the wedding planner um add-on i was using a long long time ago this was may of 2016 so march april and may of 2016 i was using the happy planner um just doing a quick flip through so this is what i was in back then i didn't use it for very long it was mainly just um april and may because this is when, may is when i found out that i was pregnant and this was too heavy to carry so that's when i downsized um i really was enjoying i really got into my little decorating kit because this that's when i was using this so i was decorating very very heavily who would have thunk it but um may is when i found out i was pregnant last year and um yeah this weekend as a matter of fact i went to my sister-in-law's baby shower and then that sunday i found out that i was pregnant um but this was too heavy for me to carry so that's when i got into the personal size but anyways so i just stuck this at the back because i didn't have any more happy planner stuff but this is the wedding planner add-on and um so bypassing all this stuff to show you what i need to show you which is the checklist this is the checklist that comes in there so it starts 12 plus months before ignore these dates because this is when we were originally planning our wedding before I got pregnant, before Grayson came along. So now we are back into wedding planning. We are actually hiring a wedding planner. So I don't need an actual wedding planning book um, for one because I just want to have the checklist to stay on track because I am a planner and I need to have this. Um, also because we're hiring a wedding planner, um, all of like all of these inspiration pages and all of this stuff um vendor stuff and um i don't want to show anybody's names because i did write some stuff so all of this stuff that i would be planning out um all of the visual stuff i use we have a pinterest board that we share um and google docs and stuff like that like that that we would share um so I don't need to have a paper planner, but I do want to have these checklists. So this checklist will be in my list section in my planner, just so I have these and then I can kind of match them up with my calendar um, and make sure if the, there are tasks that I need to do that the wedding planner is not doing, like when we um, start having to get our passports together and different things like that. Um, I have this pretty much so this stuff has to go in there um I'm, again i'm not full blown planning the wedding by myself um so i don't need a full book but again all of this checklist stuff has to go in my planner as well and then the homeschool stuff which i'm not able to show you because i don't have any of it um the good thing is our homeschool stuff is completely online um the whole curriculum is online um all of the lessons are not online though just the curriculum so i don't have to technically plan anything all of the lessons are planned out for me but um in my hobonichi and i'll show you guys really quickly um so this is a daily page um let me move this out of the way so this is a daily page in my hobonichi cousin and what i'm planning on doing is this timeline over here i don't plan on using this timeline um as far as keeping track of appointments because that is what my weekly pages be will be for i'll be time blocking on my weekly pages and then doing my weekly to-do list um and then over here this is where i will list all of my son's tasks that he has to do for school um mainly because if for some reason we don't get to that task that day, I can still flip back to the previous day. I'm not gonna forward it to the next day. I'll make a note for myself on the next day to just refer to that page. But um, some of his assignments, um, again, it is an online lesson, so it'll automatically grade it for him. Some of his assignments are worksheets, so I do need to go back and check over them. So by having this list here, I know exactly what we're doing, but I can make, um, like I can put a dot in the box, like an in-progress dot, showing that he did it and then i can actually check it off once i've actually graded it or whatever i need to do with it um so that is the plan so those are all the things that i need to combine um unfortunately you won't be able to see any of the homeschool stuff until september when we start schooling we're going to start right after labor day but 
So basically that is what all I need to combine into my system. So now I will show you guys what I'm using for my system. So the star of the show, of course, this is my Hobonichi. I have this in an A5 Midori cover. This is the packaging that it comes in. I showed this on my Instagram. This is the Midori MD notebook cover in A5 size. Um, this is a great alternative to dashboards and that's actually what I bought these for. Um, I bought three of them. So these are going to be my dashboards and my traveler's notebook. I am not going to keep, um, I'm probably going to keep the Hobonichi inside this and then I'm just going to run one of the elastics through the spine of the, um, of the plastic cover and then I can put a dashboard or something in here and decorate it. Um, that way I don't damage the spine of my Hobonichi. But that's what I bought these for. It was to be um, dashboards because I know I can get them from Foxy Fix, but if I'm not ordering anything else from Foxy Fix, I didn't want to just go over there and order dashboards. I ordered these from Jet Pens. They were like $3 a piece because that's where I order my Coletto refills. Um, so it made more sense and it got me to my $25 limit that I needed to get free shipping. So the star of the show is going to be my Hobonichi. I put my post-it note dashboard. You guys know I need my post-it dashboard. So I have my yearly calendar. This is what I use for my forward planning. So this is the first half of the year. This is the second half of the year. This half of the year is not actually the monthly calendars for these are not in the book. So this is extremely helpful for me to forward plan because these monthly calendars are not in the book. These monthly calendars are, so I could technically just write on the monthly calendars, but I don't want to because I want to decorate and do plan with me's. So I want to keep the monthly calendars blank so I can decorate and do plan with me's. So um, I forward plan on these. Um, I know a lot of people use these as trackers or they use this as an index for their daily pages. At first, you guys know I don't use, I don't do habit trackers, um, and I don't need it as an index for my daily page because I will not be journaling on my daily pages. Um, and as far as taking notes on my daily pages, I will be using um, the coloring in the box on the side. It's not going to quite work because these boxes don't come up to the edge, but like the DIY fish system. But again, I don't journal on my daily pages, so I really don't need an index for them. Um, but anyways, so then I have my month on two pages. I did a plan with me video on this. And then I have my week on two pages. I did a plan with me. This is this week. I did a plan with me um, for this as well. This is what a blank one looks like. So for my weekly pages, I will be just time blocking. My um, weekly task list will go over here. My meal planning will go on. Um, actually, my meal planning is not going to go on the bottom. What I plan on doing for my meal planning is I have these. These are DIY fish. Um, this is the weekly chart on one side and then the meal planner and grocery list on the other side. These are from April 2016 as you can see. This is when I was using DIY fish system. So these are old. Um, I don't care about the dates because I can wash you over them. And what I'm going to be doing with these is I'm going to tip these in to the edge of every week. Oh get that in frame. So I'm going to tip these into the edge of every week. That is yet another reason why I got the um, AVEC is because I can do tip-ins and things like that because this thing is going to start getting bulky um, and I did not want a full book and have it start getting bulky halfway through the year and then it just be ridiculously heavy to carry. So I'm going to tip these into the edge of every week. Um, actually I'm going to I'm going to tip them in like this because what I want to be able to do is because I'm time blocking on here and I'm not actually writing tasks on here, I still need to be able to assign tasks to a specific day because you guys know I don't write on my daily pages until I get to the daily page. The only exception to that rule is going to be my son's homeschool stuff. When I do my weekly plan with me's, I mean, you guys will see this again. It won't be until we get to September. I will plan out my week and I will set up my daily pages in the sense that I will go ahead and list out his homeschool tasks um, for every day um, because this is the day we're supposed to do it. Again, if we don't get to it for that day, it's okay. Um, but I'm not going to put any other tasks on the daily page until I get to it. So my way of handling my projects is um, it'll be something I'll explain this more. I'm going to do a new project planning setup video, but this is what I'm going to be using. My meal plan and my um, grocery list will be on the back of that. So that's what that's that's how I'm going to handle my meal planning and my project planning um, or breaking down my tasks for my project planning. 
And then um, this month I put my tasks on here, but that's not what I'm going to be doing going forward. This blank page that is at the beginning of the month is going to be, this is what it actually looks like. It just says, remember this, this is where I'm going to put my goals for the month um, instead of my to-dos for the month because my monthly to-dos are actually going to go on my monthly sidebar. Um, I put goals this month. I did things backwards this month because I just wasn't thinking about it because it was my first month using it. But um, going forward, my monthly task list is going to go here and then I'll have that whole page, um, this whole page here to do my goals. It's hard to see it with all these post-it notes everywhere. But, um, and that's why I have these tabbed out. So this is what it looks like. So this whole page, it says, remember this. So this will be my goals for the month, um, every month. So that is what I'm using. I do have a few extra pages, um, dispersed throughout here. So I have them tabbed. So, um, the first one I was planning, I told you guys I was going to use these pages and bullet journal my dailies if I needed them for this week. If you watch my plan with me that I did this week, um, again, I do not plan on putting tasks on these weekly pages, but because this is the last week of June, I don't have any daily pages in here for these days. The daily pages don't start until Saturday, which again, you guys are watching this on Saturday the 1st, but when I did this plan with me, if you watch this video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I was able to just stick to the weekly pages. This worked out fine. Um, so I have these these extra pages. So what I'm going to use this for this is going to be my master to do list for moving. So um, anything that we need to buy um, for moving because again, we do have some extra rooms that we didn't have before. Um, so we just have some extra furniture and decorative stuff that we need to buy. So I'm going to use this two page spread to make a master to do list that has to do with our move since that's one of the projects that I'm working on. And then I took this page and I made this like my homeschool master page so um just a master to-do list like following our letter of, of intent withdrawing my son from public school um ordering his student id and my teacher id um printing out the first 31 days of our curriculum and then i started making like a homeschool shopping list and i'll just keep adding to this as i need to again our homeschool is not starting until september right after labor day but because we have so much going on in august with us moving and then it's also my son's birthday and my fiance's birthday in august august is just crazy so i did that and then at the back i have some extra um blank pages that I tabbed out as well. So these, um, I'm going to do a master to-do list back here. And this master to-do list is going to be for anything that is not related to Antonish plans um, because I have one of those booklets specifically for that. This weekly timetable, I cannot figure out what to do with it. And then I figured out um, I'm in pretty much all of the Hobonichi groups on Facebook and I saw someone using it for... Um, recurring weekly items um, and so I decided that would be a perfect spot to put my weekly recurring items so basically these things that happen every single Monday or every single whatever day of the week that's what I'm gonna do and so basically I'm gonna take in these columns I would write down these things and then I could just highlight in whatever box whatever day of the week it's supposed to happen so I'm gonna basically put this stuff here and I think that's it all the rest of these pages back here I'm not using for anything and then the very last page I just use as a pen test so that's how I'm using my Hobonichi I just have some coupons back here I keep some target dollar spot um, list pads in case I needed to just make quick lists and this was just for right now because I don't I didn't have my other notebooks which I will go ahead and show to you guys right now so my other notebooks that are going in my system are these glorious notebooks from Paper Penguin Co. Um, all of my notebooks I get are gridded. These are the Tamoy River paper notebooks. They are cream colored, so they match the paper from my Hobonichi. Yes, I'm matchy matchy like that. Um, so they are gridded as well. So I have three of them that are the smaller notebooks. They are um, 80 pages each so they're the, they're very slim and then I have one of them that is the bigger notebook and it's 160 pages so what my plan is is um, one of these smaller notebooks is going to be oh and 
if you guys know anything about Paper Penguin Co., if you order from her, she always sends these little um, stickers, these little penguin stickers with your order. And so every time I get notebooks from her and I get those stickers, I always put the stickers in the um, front cover of my notebooks from her every single time. Every single notebook I have from her, which is pretty much every notebook I have, has one of these stickers in the front of them. It's just something that I do. But um, anyways, so one of these smaller notebooks is going to be just my brain dump notes notebook. It's going to be at the very front of my traveler's notebook it is going to be my first point of reference you guys know any planner that i've ever had has always had this inbox brain dump um, section this planner right here has it it just has note paper at the very beginning um my franklin cubby charlotte has it right before you even get to my goals i have this brain dump inbox section which is blank note paper that is something that is a requirement for every planner that I have so that anytime anything pops into my head I have a place right at the very beginning of my planner I can turn and write it down and ideally these notes will basically move somewhere else to another section it'll go to my calendar to my projects wherever it needs to go later on but that's my first point of reference for it um, my next um, small notebook is going to be um, my Antonisha Plans notebook. So this one is going to have um, my video ideas. So basically all the stuff that's in this binder is going to go in one of these notebooks. So all of those video ideas and blog post ideas and um, the hex codes for my logo, all of my login information, basically all of the admin stuff. So all of my affiliate links, all of that stuff um, that it's pretty much not going to change so this is going to be a permanent notebook but it doesn't need to go in like my collections notebook um so it has its, its own notebook so again just like i said list and list of video ideas um and just all the admin stuff so what i'm probably going to do is hit right at the center point so from here going back is just going to be all of my post ideas so i can just keep it running and then the very beginning is going to be all the admin stuff the other small notebook is going to be um my project planning notebook. So um, this, I, I do plan on going through these fairly quickly. That's why I got the smaller ones. So once it's filled up, I'll just get another one and replace it. But this is where I'm going to break down my projects. Um, so this is going to be um, like my um, video planning. When you see my page where I write down like talking points for the videos or talking um, points for the um, blog posts or whatever project I'm working on and I need to work out the ideas for it, this is where that's gonna happen. Um, and like I said, as I use it up, then I'll throw it away. I do probably expect to go through one of these maybe every two months or so, just depends on how many projects I'm working on. Um, so that is the purpose of this, this notebook. Um, and what I plan on doing is once I do get back heavily into my projects, um, and actually start planning them out. Um, I was going to get the, the DIY Fish version carry inserts that I used to use for my project planning, which was, this is the DIY Fish version carry. So you have this monthly calendar, and then you have this with the events, the projects that you're gonna work on for the month. And then you have this weekly breakdown here. I forgot I had to slip. You have this weekly breakdown of what week you plan on working on each project and then you have this page which is you can do um, a page for each week that says this is the project that I'm going to work on these are the tasks for each project I've talked about these um, project planning inserts and in videos before I absolutely love these project planning inserts the only thing is I don't need the calendar part because I don't plan on keeping an editorial calendar um, I kind of plan on being a little more free-flowing with um, when and how I put up YouTube videos and blog posts. So I don't need the calendar, but I do need this part. Um, so on a weekly basis, I need to know when I'm working on other projects. Um, so what I decided to do is instead of ordering these inserts, especially because they're dated and because they have the calendar, um, I can use this booklet and if I need to get this technical with something, I can basically just draw this layout in this notebook. Um, if I get to a month where I need to plan out my projects this detailed. 
Um, and then if I don't, if I'm just kind of free flowing with it because we are more busy with family stuff and I don't need this much structure for my projects, then I can just, like I said, use this. So basically I'm kind of combining my Hobonichi with some bullet journaling type methods so I can decide how structured or unstructured I want everything to be. So I feel like that's going to work better for me. Um, and then the last booklet, the very big booklet, this is going to be my bullet journal type collections notebook. So this is where I'm going to put, um, I'm going to do a couple pages worth of an index because again this is a 160 page um, book so I see quite a few things in here. So this is where um, I'm going to put a, my vision board is going to go in here. This is where all of the stuff that was in my goal section. So my values, my mission statement, um, my roles, then all of these lists are going to go in here. So my books to read list, as you can see, is quite long because this is double sided. I've written on it. I've added to this list. I have a books to order list and then I have another books to order list somewhere else that I need to add to this. Um, my review process list, my uh, cleaning routine list, these lists won't get worked on until after we move and I can kind of um, check out our new place and see how I want to set up my cleaning. But all of those lists and then as I need to add a new list, they'll get added. So that's why I got such a big book because just my books to read list is going to take up a pretty good chunk of space. And again, um, my wedding planning checklist that I showed you guys. Um, from here so this big old checklist in here that is going to be in this list section um so just just stuff like that so list that i'm going to need to be able to reference for a, a lot of time because our wedding is not until november of 2018 so as of right now we're about 15 16 months out from our wedding so i'm going to be referencing that checklist for 16 months um i need to have it in a more permanent long-term booklet so that's what this booklet is going to be for again for those longer longer term collections again the goals so my monthly goals are not going to be in here um this is going to be my long-term goals um my quarterly goals will go in here so and again i'll have two or three probably four pages i plan on doing this um this two page spread and maybe even this two page spread as an index so five pages of an index um, because I do see myself putting a lot of stuff in here. Again, 160 pages. So my quarterly goals will go in here, my long-term goals, and then like I said, as I need lists, I will add to it. But um, my monthly goals will go on these monthly pages in my Hobonichi. So that's where my monthly goals will go. Um, I don't really set weekly well actually I do kind of set weekly goals and that is something I wanted to talk about um, my weekly goals I set are like my roles um, you guys used to see it in I don't know if I have one left in here um, with my Franklin Covey system yeah here we go um, my weekly compass this is basically where I set weekly goals where I would identify my roles and um, my big rocks for the week would be my weekly goals um, so I am basically taking this process from the Franklin Covey system and I am what I'm doing is again because I'm not planning on putting any tasks on these weekly pages except for my sidebar which will have my weekly tasks I will take this section up here basically it's a spot where you can put like your top three um, to do's for each day I won't be doing that because on my daily pages if I wanted to put like a top five you have a spot to put like your top five tasks or whatever I'm gonna put my routine tasks up here but I really don't do a top three because pretty much everything that goes on my to-do list really needs to get done that day so what I'm gonna do is there's seven up here I think this gave you a space for seven so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use these spaces to put my roles so this blank spot up here I'm gonna put a roll and then I'm gonna put um, three big rocks or three goals I would like to accomplish um, underneath that role and then for Sunday um, just because I see that as a day of renewal that's going to be my sharpen the saw day so um, 
sharpen the saw is like your physical, social and emotional, mental and spiritual. So that's where I would put stuff that I'm going to do to take care of me specifically. Um, so basically taking this same concept and instead of doing it vertically, it's going to be horizontally. So it doesn't matter what day it's on. It doesn't mean I need to focus on this role on this particular day. I need to focus on all these roles throughout the entire week. Um, it just happens to be laid out vertically. And then these are tasks. These will be goals. So that's how I plan on doing that. Um, this will be extra space. Um, I do plan on decorating. This will be probably washi is going to be down here. Um, similar to what I did here because as you can see I kind of had to squeeze my meal plan in there between because my weekend banner if I use a weekend banner will be at the bottom because I'll have my rolls up here and wash will be down here so we'll see how the whole decorating thing goes um, I have a Coco Daisy subscription that I will be getting mid-July for the August stuff so I have already made the decision that I'm not going to be buying um, like weekly sticker kits like this I already have a Planner Kate's um, 4th of July sticker kit that I'm going to use for next month and then for all of June uh, or excuse me June huh, all of July I'm gonna go ahead and just use up the stuff that I have in my stash so I have mini kits and stuff like that and just use that stuff up but um, what I'm gonna do is I really love the way the Coco Daisy subscriptions come so instead of ordering these Planner Kate monthly kits although I absolutely love them I have a lot of stuff coming in the Coco Daisy kits and I don't even have the full kit. I just have the add-on kits that have like the month name and stuff that I can decorate the monthly with. So um, it's kind of crazy. It took less than two, three weeks for me to realize that this whole sticker decorating thing is not for me. I'm more interested in getting pretty papers and sticking stuff in my dashboards than sticking stuff on my pages because I don't want them to get in the way of me planning. So we'll see how all that goes. So anyways, that is my plan for One Book July. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Again, hopefully my um, Traveler's Notebook cover will be here in time for me to do an update for week one. Um, I am going to start getting stuff filled in to these notebooks so that when my cover comes, I can basically just slide everything in. Um, and as far as like my dashboards I'm not I don't plan on really doing too much of the pretty stuff for um, for July um, when my Coco Daisy stuff gets here I'm gonna go ahead and set it add-on kit and then I have the dashboard kit so there's only one dashboard that actually says August all the rest of them um, I'm just going to go ahead and set them up and then I'll just keep the one August one out. Um, but my main thing is just getting these notebooks into my traveler's notebook cover and getting this system going. So I'm just going to start getting this stuff set up and like I said, hopefully my um, traveler's notebook cover will be here soon um, so that it'll be here in time for me to do the... Um, week one update if for some reason it's not here I will do a week one update and just kind of walk you through this stuff just like this because if I don't have a cover I don't have a cover but it's not going to stop me from planning and getting what I need to get done just because I don't have the leather cover so if you guys have any questions let me know down in the uh, comment section below I do apologize that this video was so long but like I said if I were to do all of this and I technically want to do a review of that traveler's notebook cover so if I were to do the review and unboxing and all of that on top of this um, this video would be well over an hour long so yeah let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video